Which producers, it could be an indication of how post-Brexit trade barriers are going to affect their business. Exports of food and drinks were down 47 percent from 2020 in the first quarter of 2021, a loss of 1.6 billion euros. Measured over a two-year period, the decline is even greater, with such exports down 55 percent in the first three months of 2021, compared to the same period in 2019. That's a loss of 2.3 billion euros. The loss of two billion pounds of exports to the EU is a disaster for our industry and is a very clear indication of the scale of losses that UK manufacturers face in the longer term due to new trade barriers with the EU. According to the head of the UK's Food and Drink Exporters Association, the losses are partly due to the EU's stockpiling of UK goods prior to Brexit. Yet, he added that the downturn had also occurred as a result of additional bureaucracy, customs delays and the cost of trade with the bloc. We're continuing to battle against inconsistent interpretations of regulations across the EU and having to weigh up whether the time and cost involved is sustainable. It's the first time in decades that the UK has exported more goods outside of the EU than into it. Unsurprisingly, though, the decline is also being linked to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic.